Hello and welcome back to Subnautica with myself, Hollow. Thank you so much for rejoining me today. Uh, last time we went into the very depths of the ocean, just in a random place. Uh, somewhere past a mushroom forest, but I'm using a signal to sort of take us in the right direction. Now, unfortunately, I did find an amazing area with tons of diamonds and died and lost it all. And I actually really struggled to re-find it. It's in a really weird zone. And once I died and went back there, a bunch of those giant eel things respawned or spawned in. And it was like a wall of horrible things preventing me from getting to where I wanted to go. So today, I'm going to go a different way. Now, some of you guys have given me some advice on where I should go. And uh, I should definitely take this bad boy with me. Look at that, the little pile up. Looks amazing. Bit of a waste of energy there, but I just wanted to show it. I, I, I just love that. This big field where it just slows down time and freezes everything. Looks amazing. So I also have some other news that's not quite as cool, which is a little bit sad, honestly. Unfortunately for me, it turns out that I died uselessly and a lot of you let me know in the comments so I'd like to take this moment to apologize for being the buffoon that I am and not eating the fish raw it's like sushi or whatever it would have given me the nutrients to survive that little bit longer to get back to my submarine and survive unfortunately at the time I had not thought of it and I died um, so I, I apologize for that mistake uh, but for now in my own time I have prepared six power cells Dude, let me tell you, it took fucking ages to get all that copper. Uh, getting the mushrooms was fine, you know, you can find acidic mushrooms everywhere. But getting the copper to make these batteries and then turn them into the power cells was a pain in the ass. And it is really stupid that this is the way you have to do it. After doing a little bit of research and seeing your comments, it turns out that is actually the only way to do it in-game at this time. However, according to one commenter, I really appreciate it, sorry I can't remember your name right now. Apparently they're introducing a new patch where you have a way to restore the power of power cells. So I'm very, very happy that's going to be in the game soon because doing this every time takes a huge amount of time and obviously I'm not making you guys watch that but it is not fun. It is not enjoyable. It shouldn't be part of the game and I'm glad that they're changing that. They're fixing that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do before we set out on our next voyage is go collect a bunch of random fish and just slap them into the containers. And then with that, I'll set out on my voyage. That way, I'll have the fish to cook up while I'm out there if I need them, which I'll try my best to be a bit more attentive towards because a lot of you guys were saying, you know, I don't pay enough attention with that shit and uh, I'll try and fix that. In my endeavours to get enough fish for me to, you know, progress and move on and have enough, you know, food while I'm out there, I actually found a new fish here called the whole fish. Look at that. Got this weird ass blue eye, this mouth that opens up kind of like hilariously. And then the hole, because it's a whole fish, I guess. Gonna grab this boomerang, there we go. Beautiful. Um, it's really nice to find new um, species of fish. I don't know whether that patch is actually out now or not with the recharging. Um, maybe it's added a few new types of fish, you know, a few new, um, I guess, species, but I don't think so. Either way, here's the, uh, the whole fish, and now I have enough fish to go on my voyage. Let's do it. I'm being smart now, and I'm making a beacon as well to take with me on this voyage, because it'd be nice to know where I actually am. Uh, so I won't even mess with that, but if I get to somewhere cool, I'll, uh, I'll put down a beacon. Okay, everything is now nicely prepared. Let's step out onto our first voyage of this video, or, oh well, our main voyage, I guess, our next voyage. There we go. English hard, Aaron Dumb. Um, we want to go. Thank you, uh, by the way, to this suggestion from Karaksu, by the way. Uh, behind the ship. So, the direction I want to go to discover something new and fun would be take the engines of the ship and go in the opposite direction. So somewhere over here and apparently I've got some stuff to check out that would be I don't know around the 200 to 300 depth max so it's good that we got that new hull upgrade um, allowing us to go to these deeper depths and not be worried about you know uh, collisions and as much not be worried about breaches and uh, hell just the pressure of the water itself sort of crushing us inward we won't need to worry about that 
anywhere near as much. Though there will be some big scary animals, which is why we brought the cannon. Oh! Got one of those big mother truckers, the floater guys, or whatever they're called. Alien type guys. Let's go deeper. This area I'm in right now is a bit weird. A bit different. Looks like, ah, look, it's the, um, it's a blood sand biome. Okay, so just keep going behind this biome, maybe. Look at that. Whoa, check that out. Well, that's a weird animal. Never seen one of those before. It was, look, it's like a... A squid thing. Neat. Got some spade fish over here. Yeah, never been over here before. Definitely not. I wonder if they, like, shoot oil at you or anything like that. Any, like, ink, even, you know. That'd be neat. Excuse me. Alright, let's go down. There's, like, some quartz on top of that peak there. Weird area, right? Like spikes coming out of the ground. Kind of like hands or something. That's scary, right? That idea, that concept. Hands coming out of the ground. I don't want to like smash into one of them, so I'm trying to be careful. But it's like a spike biome or something. Kind of neat. A little bit scary at the same time, though. Caution. Passing safe depth. Okay, safe depth has been passed. We're okay, even so. Now I want to orientate myself. So I'm actually going to go back up to the, to the surface, have a quick glance around, See if I'm in line with the back of the ship. Because I want to I wanna follow the instructions correctly before I get completely lost. This is why I brought the beacon. So I can get back here if I ever need to. If I just have a turn around. Do a 180. I've got sort of weird... Ah! Okay, so I need to go a bit further this way. But also in this direction. Here we go! There's just a giant rock. Not really sure about why there's a giant rock here, but perhaps this is what they were talking about. Whoa! What the fuck? How did I, how have I not seen this before? Whoa! Whoa! Oh. oh my god! Wow! Holy shit! So there's like a separate floating island over here. Look, there's the floaters that are underneath them, but these ones are like just ridiculously big. They're like colossal sized. Let's see if I can get a better look at them. These ones are so much bigger, those floaters, compared to the ones that were holding up the other islands. And those were big. Why is there a weird ass floating chunk of earth here? And there's actually trees on it. What is that? God, this is so weird. All right, let's go round. Let's go round the side of it. I don't want to use too much power, so I am thinking about getting out and using my seam off. But right now, this gives me a nice, like, um, nice view of the island, as you can see from, like, above surface, above water level. Is there a way... There is a way on. Oh, my... God. I never expected this. Like, going into land, on land, and the like, is just something that I didn't think would ever happen in Subnautica, the game where, well, you go underwater and you swim. 
There's a spade fish here. A couple of them. Guess I'll grab them. Might need to eat them. It feels really weird walking on the shore. It's like walking in the on the ship. It feels wrong. Kareksu, thank you very much for this suggestion. Oh wow, listen to the like ambience. I like beautiful little pink flowers and the hell is that? I'm worried that there'll be like animals here. Like land animals. Can you imagine that in Subnautica? This is so cool. So I found the underwater floating islands, but I never expected to find an actual real floating island. Oh, spade fish. What are you doing, buddies? Oh uh, yeah, they're not they're not really used to this. I don't think land stuff really works in this engine right now. But it works enough. Oh, this is really cool music. Oh, it's like great one heads from uh, Bloodborne. I wonder if there's like any caves underneath this thing. The trees look cool as fuck. I think I could cut them down for like resources. Turns into one of those classic survival games. Punch the tree. I mean, correct his advice, his directions were like bang on, right? Get behind the engine and just go in that direction and then, you know, you find something really weird and new. Here we are. Right behind the engines. Perfect. I also want to go to like the the lowest of the low under this place if I can. And by that I mean I would like to get to the the very base level, like the de deepest depths, the, 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 the surface. I want to jump down there, but I don't think I can get back. Weird birds in here. You see, you hear that? Can you climb up here? This is so cool. This game has some of the best... I guess I can't get up there. This game has some of the most interesting, cool sort of exploration in any game I've ever played. It's it's essentially a game sort of designed for an explorer, you know? For someone to just... More spade fish. <laughs> um, to just go in and explore and just get lost in... I really like it. I'm very grateful there's no aggressive animals here so far. I bet there's some weird ass alien types they could put on this island. Be careful not to fall into the water. It's amazing how safe and secure I feel on this island when compared to swimming in the deep waters. Like, I just feel at my, in my element again, you know? So sort of discovering and exploring this place. Oh, there is a little cave here. Oh, is that it? Oh man, I was hoping there'd be a, like a proper like, I don't know, in the core of the island. I bet this place looks so nice at night. Nighttime's approaching, so hey, look at all these colours. Oh my god, this is so cool. Something so simple, like this is like above and beyond. Like last time we thought we found the cool fucking floating islands. This time we found the fucking coolest thing. Alright, check this out at night now. Oh man, the blues. There's just like a really nice vibrant colour about this place. That's just very unique and very nice to look at. You know, pleasing on the eyes. Everything seems to shimmer and have its own sort of natural light source in this foresty biome. I really like it. They have done such stellar work making the visuals of this game man it's absolutely gorgeous yes yeah, so down there's this little thing i want to go underneath it i want to know if there's any caves that go into the core of this island and i want to know if there's anything down below on the surface level like what's down there i've got my food and water back up i'm sure many of you are very happy to learn that 
And we're going to go down. Super far down now. And underneath the island. Look at this. Oh, they're so huge. Like, the, these floaters are massive. It's a really cool, like, species. These floaters. That appear to be... They're almost like jellyfish to me. They have no, like, consciousness or anything. They just exist. And it's accidentally caused this, like, huge amazing landmark almost all right so let's go down as promised and look at the ground and some people had some really cool interesting theories as to why the ground is like blackened underneath Gosh. these um oh yeah underneath these islands and the reason is that that's where the island originally was that it was there it was like oh look at all the squid types so many of them so many different fish that I keep finding. Um, yeah. The reason it's like darkened like that is because uh, that's where the island once was. So like the the natural causing Warning. volcanoes. Alright, alright. The volcanoes that erupted maybe naturally here or the plates colliding maybe caused that land to, you know, break off. And what actually lifted it up further may have been those, uh, those jelly things, the floaters. I mean, that could be it. I really like that theory. Yeah, I don't really see anything down here, guys. I think we're, like, really as far as it goes now. So let's go back up. Go back to a submarine. And what I want to do is I, I want to see if there's anything between me uh, uh, where we are now. Look at that up here. Oh, fucking amazing. Oh, hang on a sec. What's this over here? Oh, just like oh, this is actually where I was looking down at. Right. That's where I wanted to jump into. Cool. Let's just duck down. Which way is the submarine? There it is. What I want to do is I want to go really deep to the to the crust, to the to the le lowest levels, and see if I can find anything between here and the spaceship which, behind the engines, um, because I reckon the sholly must be something. So we're going to take the submarine and have a look. I'll try and be conservative about how much energy I actually use doing that. And uh, you know what I need to do while I'm here is I need to. Maybe repair the seam off. So let's uh, let's pop down here. Look at that! It looks so cool, man. It looks so cool. I'm so happy that's in the game. I just I just never expected something like that. Can I repair it? Maybe it needs to be in the element. All right. Maybe I have to repair it later. That's fine. Let's get back. Okay. So I'm wondering. If there's anything interesting between here and the Aurora. So we're going to go this way and we're going to go down. Super far down. And let's keep myself orientated. Before I properly dive, I want to make sure I'm going the right way. My main concern, as always, okay, this way, is that there will be those giant eel things. There's something king, apparently. Sea King, I don't know. Um, Caution. There's no real way to fight them as far as I'm aware. Past freezing them. Let's check it out. We have this like spiky area again. We're here not long ago. We have like these natural spawning sort of like herds of fish here. So I, I feel that this place is safe from those monsters due to the fact that there's, you know, a lot of fish just hanging out. You know, it's like a calm place, a safe place for them, really. Meaning it must be a safe place for me, right? Warning. Maximum depth reached. All damage imminent. Check. 
this place out. I want to go swim. Keep doing that. It's such a weird sound, that. Kind of scary. Let's do it. Look at this place. What is down here? More spade fish and some quartz. Whoa. Is that shooting at me? It is. It's shooting something at me. Weird ass plant. Okay, what have we got down here? Copper. Okay. Salt down here and quartz. I gotta be careful about my oxygen levels. I wonder if these things are aggressive. The squid things. Hello? Okay, they're weird. I don't like them. Okay, let's keep swimming. And again, super aware of my oxygen. I'll head back as soon as it hits half, I promise. These weird tree things? Plant things? Quartz over here? Oh, this game, man. So fucking awesome. Alright, I'm heading back. We're on halfway on the oxygen now. I'm being overly cautious. Much to your guys' uh, appreciation, I hope. Okay, I'm going to get a bit of oxygen and we're swimming there. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. All right, let's get that oxygen back, and then we're going. Good thing I have this rebreather, by the way. It means you um, consume less oxygen when at deeper depths. And let me tell you, we're at some deep depths right now. Okay, let's go back out. Really cool plants. Thought I saw something over there. I was a bit concerned. Like the tail of one of those eels. We would have definitely heard it, though. So it looks like... There are no valuables here, you know, coming down this far. Get quartz, you get salt. No diamonds, though. I only want one. It's too bad. This isn't... This is more quartz, so... Still that hope that there'll be diamonds in these, but it's limestone, not basalt. Basalt was the one that had diamonds in it. So quiet down here. But it's not the unnerving type of quiet. It's just kind of calm, quiet. I really like it. And I am now noticing, you know, the whole... If you see fish around the area, it's because it's safe. You know, it's a it's a, a calm and safe area because there's no predators there to, to kill them, to eat them. So they're able to just fr swim around in peace. I really like that. All right, let's see if we can find anything else as we head back. Let's have a quick stop here. While we're by these these fingers, have a little uh, little explore. It'd be cool if that horn scared away like predators or something. What is this? More limestone. Too bad. Hoping for the basalt. What's this thing? Weird ass flower. Ugh. Cool though. More quiet. You know, uh, the same sort of atmosphere. Sims safe over at these. Uh, these spikes at these fingers. I like it though. It's good. Let's keep moving. We're down at uh, 42 meters right now. It's not that deep, honestly. We just passed through blood grass biome with the uh, green grass biome on the right. Seeing more of these mini floaters compared to the giant ones. They're so tiny now. You know, I have to refer them. I have to imagine them as mini ones, really. I'm hitting a lot of these fish. We're in over a calm area due to the fact that there's a lot of fish in this area. Yeah, it looks like um, looks like that's that's what's in that area then. So now we've discovered that we we know now that there's that island and it drops off into nothingness. And between that, we have the spike biome, the blood grass, and it moves into the safe area again. So we're really getting this nice map in our head, 
um, as to where things are. It's absolutely wonderful. So next time, on the next episode, I'm going to hopefully be playing when that patch is hit, where we can do this sort of natural recharge of the power cell. So we'll be able to explore a lot easier for me. You know, you guys don't see it, but it takes a long time for me to get the power to do this. Getting the power cells is a pain in the ass. So looking forward to that. And hopefully there's more, you know, other interesting, useful updates uh, that also come out with that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Subnautica episodes. Getting really framey. This whole area, for some reason, gets really framey. I don't know why. It's really annoying. It's like right next to the... Um, right next to the pod. That area just gets really framey. Either way, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. I've been Holo. You've been you. Thank you for all the support with the Subnautica series. So glad you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. It is an absolutely brilliant game, and I'm looking forward to doing some more exploring next time. If you have any advice on to where to explore next time, do let me know in the comments. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.